morning, Todd. Young Alex. What you making? I don't know. <laughs> Didn't come with instructions. I'm uh, hoping for a bookshelf, but I wouldn't be disappointed with a hamper. <laughs> morning, guys. Hey, Wiseman, why do you wear your dental hygienist stuff before you get to work? Same reason a fighter pilot puts on his jumpsuit before he gets in his F-16. <laughs> but you're fighting plaque. A much less dangerous foe, but a foe nonetheless. <laughs> hey, is that the thing you bought from the super? Ah, uh, Steven, I never exchange money. We barter. He gave me this, I'm removing the ticks from his cat. <laughs> there really are angels among us. Good morning, guys. Morning! Hey! I brought you a present. A new coffee maker. Oh, you didn't have to do that. We already have a coffee maker. <laughs> it's a thank you for letting me use your kitchen all the time. Just seeing you dressed in what you sleep in is thanks enough. Actually, I just throw this on to come over. I sleep naked. New coffee pot, just what we need. A very thoughtful. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, she is. Hang on a second. It's for you. It's Daniel. Oh, I'm over here so much. I gave him the number. I hope that's okay. Just as long as he doesn't think there's anything going on between you and the three of us. <laughs> Hey, Cuddle Bear. Cuddle Bear? She's from Michigan. Yeah, that'll be so great. Call me with your flight info and I'll pick you up. I can't wait. Snuggles and kisses. Grand Rapids. Mm. You guys, this is so great. He's coming for the weekend. Yeah. So uh, what's Danny like? Is he our kind of guy? Or... Oh, first of all, never call him Danny. It's always Daniel. Not our kind of guy. Mm. <laughs> He's a lawyer. He gets his shirts custom made. He drinks cognac. And on the weekends, he creates these fantastic abstract sculptures. Oh, he sounds old. <laughs> he's not that old, and he's only 27. He's just sophisticated. Oh, he's oh, sophisticated. Wow. <laughs> okay, all right, I know. I mean, I used to make fun of guys like this, too. I mean, he gets manicures, for God's sakes. Mm. But he even makes that sexy. I can relate. <laughs> I dated a girl once who had her heels and elbows pumiced to a sheen. It was great. Until she went too far. Okay, I've got class. Well, I thought you said you didn't have class on Thursdays. I'll sign up for one. You know what? Casey's great. That Daniel's lucky to have her. You betcha. Yeah, we're pretty lucky to have him. You got that right, brother. What do you mean? Well, if she didn't have a boyfriend, things could really get ugly around here. How? She'd be available. I'd want her, he'd want her, you'd want her. I'd get her, he'd be jealous, you'd be where you always are. <laughs> Only worse. Point is, Casey off limits, things stay simple. Do I have to bring up seventh grade? Mm -hmm. Dana Ferber? She almost tore us apart. I let the air out of your bike tires. I spit in Todd's milk for a week. I switched milk with Wiseman. <laughs> well, fortunately, we've grown up since then. I think we've learned our lesson. Oh, I gotta get going. Got a big high-level staff meeting at the magazine. I gotta go set up the room and get donuts. <laughs> Make us proud. Hey, Steve. How's sassafras? That's the France that's very uncomfortable. Uh, by the way, how does a cat in the city get ticks? That's the France has family in Pennsylvania. Margo? Hello, doctor. You know I'm not a doctor. What are you doing here again? Having my teeth cleaned. This is the third time you've had your teeth cleaned this week. I eat a lot of sesame seeds. Well, I always say you can never be too conscientious about Wiseman. cleaning. Wiseman, bib me. Never heard it used as a verb, but okay. Ooh, that's cold. Could you excuse me for a second? I seem to be missing my number six Carlson probe. Your number six Carlson's right here. That one's a little dirty. I, I used it to clean my ears.
Music Week, Research Department, Cubicle 14, Sub-Basement, Alex Barnes speaking. It's Wiseman. Well, you could have stopped me. The woman in my chair has had her teeth cleaned three times this week. So? I think she's coming on to me. I, I think she's turned on by dental procedures. This woman, can other people see her? Alex, I'm serious. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. So you've got a woman with a sexual fetish, and you're calling me for advice? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And other people can see her. All right, all right, calm down. Look, it sounds like she's being kind of aggressive with you. Be aggressive with her. Just say, hey, let's not beat around the bush. Are you interested in me? You sure? Sure as 43 ticks fit in a bottle cap. That's good enough for me. All right. Cut to the chase here. You interested in me? <laughs> so it turns out her thing is clean teeth and being naked in the dental chair. <laughs> You've got to love this city. Okay, so she's naked in the chair. Then what happened? This is where it gets wild. There was some heavy plaque on her lateral, some standing behind 30 and 31. She's coming back tomorrow. I can't believe you had a naked woman in your chair and you didn't do anything. Oh, by the time the cleaning was over, we didn't have enough time. Why didn't you have sex with her instead of doing the cleaning? Hey, Casey. Hey, guys. Well, why don't you come sit with us? Thanks, but I'm gonna head upstairs. I think she's upset. So she want help? Maybe we should ask her. Sometimes they don't want to talk. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they say they don't, but they really do. Should we take a shot? I think we should. <laughs> Casey, are you okay? Yeah. Come on, what's the matter? Daniel called. He's not coming. What? Why not? Some work thing, as usual. Yeah, well, work gets in the way sometimes. So I've heard. This is the third time that he's canceled. I'm just so bummed. <laughs> you know, we've been together for like a year, but it just seems like he's losing interest. You know, I can't believe that somebody could lose interest in you. Well, thank you, Todd. And keeping up a long-distance relationship is really hard, but he should still be doing his part. That's true. Thanks, Alex. Maybe you should buy some sexy underpants. <laughs> well, that's less helpful, but thanks. You know what sounds like Danny Boy could use a little talking to? See on speed dial? Thanks, Todd, but I think this is something I should handle myself. Are you sure? Because guys really respond when their girlfriend's neighbors call them. <laughs> Just, I don't get it. I mean, it's not like I'm asking for so much here. I feel like he's just taking me for granted. Well, you know what? Then you should call him on it. You think? Absolutely. You tell him that you need more out of this relationship than he's given you. Yeah, that's right. And if he can't give you more than that, then maybe you guys shouldn't have a relationship at all. Maybe you're right. Maybe that is what I should tell him. Works on me. It does? Oh, yeah. I fold like a cheap deck chair. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell him. Good. Good for you. Good. And if that doesn't work, two words. Sexy underpants. <laughs> I don't get it. How does Daniel not want to come see her? He's probably scrubbing cognac out of his prissy lawyer shirts. <laughs> Carving a sucky sculpture with his manicured man nails. Hey, this is coming along. I'm close. I think it's a spice rack chair. Oh, hey. Cool. You know, it's like for when you need paprika but don't want to get up. Precisely. And now, from Washington. Tonight, on public television. My guest tonight is best-selling author... The male rhinoceros mounts the female gingerly. <laughs> At nearly 3,000 pounds, any misstep could be disastrous. Well, I called that stupid jerk. How'd it go? He said that he understood that I needed more, but he had no more to give, so he broke up with me. 
Oh, Casey, I'm sorry. No, I never... It's all right, Alex. I-, I needed to know this. I mean, there's no sense being with someone if there's no future. Well, are you okay? Oh, I am better than okay. I'm free. I mean, this is the first time since I was 16 that I don't have a boyfriend. And damn it, I am going to enjoy it. You go, girl. <laughs> York. I'm available and I'm not bad looking, right? Pretty, pretty girl. <laughs> Thank you. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have a fling. A wild, meaningless, sweaty, nails ripping into the back fling. <laughs> Whoa, easy there, big fella. <laughs> I wonder where Casey is. She's usually here for coffee by now. You know what? Maybe I'll bring her over a cup. I think she'd like that. Hey, you know what? You gotta get to work. I'll bring her over a cup. You both have to get to work. I'll bring her a cup and spend the morning brushing her hair. <laughs> Sweet. But bringing her coffee was my idea. I'll bring it to her. Yeah, I said the words Casey and coffee first. I should really bring it to her. Good morning, guys. Okay. Morning. Good morning. Hey. It is a brand new day. Yeah. Hey, um, you want some coffee from our new pot? Or would you prefer some cognac? Cognac? 1976, the year I was conceived. And the reason. Muffin? No, thank you. I'll grab something at class. Hey, can I ask you guys something? Sure, of course. Do you remember last night when I was talking about that fling? I remember we had the Chinese fling. food. Fling. Watch fling. that thing with the rhino. That's the right. Fling. Fling. Oh! The fling with the thing with the fling. The sweaty yeah. fling. Yes, yes. Nails yes. ripping into the back. Yeah. Thing. What, what about that now? Well, I was thinking about it all night. It kept me up. I mean, who should I have a fling with? Who should I have a fling with? Then it hit me. You guys are right across the hall. So, oh, I have to get that. <laughs> okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but she was just about to ask one of us if we wanted to have a fling. I am going to correct you. She was about to ask me to have a fling. <laughs> you? Casey's a classy girl. She's not one of your bus station pickups. That happened one time. <laughs> no, if she wants anybody here, it's me. I'm upwardly mobile. You work in a basement. Yeah, I got nowhere to go but up. <laughs> Guys, she said she wanted a sweaty fling. I'm the sweatiest. <laughs> yeah, tell her that. I might. Fine. I'm okay, all right, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's happening here? It's Dana Ferber come back from the grave to haunt us. She didn't die. <laughs> what are you, the yearbook editor? Huh? You want to let me finish? You're the one who said we were lucky Casey had a boyfriend. Let's not get stupid now that she's available. You're right. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, okay. So no matter which one of us she picks, nobody goes there. Okay. Okay. All right. See, this is good. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're thinking up here. Sorry, that was a friend from class. She lost her notes. I have to give her mine. We'll finish this later. <laughs> Oh, yeah, beautiful. You bet we'll finish this later. <laughs> Good morning, Margot. You're naked again, aren't you? Am I? Margot, it has been brought to my attention that you might not just be here to have your teeth cleaned. <laughs> don't be ludicrous. Now, don't deny it. I'm sensing a certain sexual tension between us. It's true. I am attracted to you, but I don't know how to let you know. Unfortunately, you and I can never be. May I ask why? First, uh, I'm a little uncomfortable violating the hygienist-patient relationship. And I'm speaking professionally, morally, and ethically. Second, I'm hoping to bet a dear friend who's just been dumped. Come in. I'm coming. Hey, Steve. That's the press, and I got you a little something for doing such a nice job with the ticks. Bath beads. Lavender. I'm touched. My brother gets them from the docks. Sometimes they have extra. That was in the box? No, I, uh... Never quite figured that out, so I decided to make an abstract sculpture. Very moving. 
Very fluid. Thanks. Think about giving it to a friend. Does it spin? I've never done this before, and there's a very good chance I'm never going to do it again, but I've been told certain women find it sexy. I know one woman who finds it very sexy. I'm Estelle. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Bastard! What are you talking about? You bought Casey roses. I did not. Don't lie to me. They're sitting right out there in front of her door. I didn't buy Casey roses, and if I did, would I be stupid enough to leave him in the hall? Wiseman. <laughs> Bastard. Of course, Wiseman. I should have known. Oh, oh, well, what the hell is this? Spice rack chair. Let's see, it's shapeless, useless. This is an abstract sculpture, isn't it? Be careful with that. Bastard! You got a manicure. I did not. Bastard! <laughs> what are these? Are these bath beads? Since when do you like bath beads? Lavender. I, don't touch this. This was a very personal and thoughtful gift from Steve to me. Okay, now this is getting weird. I was talking about your little trip to the florist. How'd you know? You were gonna stab us in the back. You were going after Casey. Oh, like you weren't. Hey, I didn't get my nails done. Nails? Well, I had a trim and some clear polish. It's no big deal. You know, at least I didn't make her an abstract sculpture or buy her three dozen red roses. I didn't buy three dozen roses. I, I, I bought one rose. Are you the cheapest man alive? Guys, guess what? When I got home, there were three dozen roses from Daniel. Bastard. You were right, Alex. All he needed was a little push. Thank God I didn't have that fling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that wouldn't have been fun at all. I'm going to go call him. Hey, we're happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Ooh. Well, looks like things are back to normal. Yeah, we dodged a bullet. <laughs> Like, none of this ever happened. Yeah. It's like when Superman made the Earth go backwards. <laughs> you know what's great? We never found out which one of us she would have chosen. Yeah. That is great. Yeah. We have to ask her, don't we? Absolutely. Hi. Yeah, hi. Um, do you remember when you came over and you were talking about the fling and how, you know, like, we were right across the hall and... Oh, I'm sorry. I never finished that. Well, I was... I was gonna ask if you guys knew anyone I could have a fling with. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's moot now. Couldn't be mooter. Just one more thing. Uh, was there ever a chance, you know, of a possibility one of us? And if so, which one? <laughs> you guys are so funny. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Yeah, I can handle the rejection, but the laughter's gonna haunt me. I wonder what Dana Ferber is doing these days. She's in advertising. On the Upper West Side. How do, how do you guys... Bastards. Margo? Weissman? Yeah. I'm getting my eyes examined. I made a mistake. I was wondering if you wanted to come in for another cleaning. I got a new Carlson probe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wiseman. I'm no longer the dysfunctional dental patient you knew. I've moved on. I've grown. Sorry about that. <laughs> In a world where 
night never ends. It would be foolish to go into the jungle alone. A creature that can take any form lies in wait. She was real. They can look like anything. That's how they trick you. An all new Enterprise. Jonathan. Someone there? Ah! Part of two full hours, Wednesday at 8, 7 central on UPN.